Hey everybody, it is March 3rd, 2017, and it is the Nintendo Switch launch day, and it is 12.15 a.m., and I just got back from my local store and pick up all my pre-order stuff, so what we're going to do today, we're going to go through everything that I got, and starting out is the actual system. We'll do some unboxings of everything here. I got the Pro Controller here. We got Zelda, and from Best Buy I got uh, extra Joy-Cons. I don't know if I'm actually going to open this. I uh, decided to order them. I don't know, I might need them. really don't know, I might take them back. Not too sure about that. And we got ourselves a Hypergin case from Amazon. That was 10 bucks. And I got a $50 card. So, first up. How about we open the system? Stickers? No, there it is. Yeah, buddy. Okay, here's the Joy Cons, which are a little smaller than what I was imagining. So there's the left one here. Cool. There's the, uh, the top of it there. Pretty cool. Yeah, your tap buttons. There's the back. Everything feels very Nintendo-y. So there's that one. And here's the left. And that's got the little IR sensor on it. Plus, yep, everything feels like a Nintendo controller for sure. Same thing, you got some buttons up there. I think that might be a sync button, but uh, yeah, it's that one. And here's the actual system. Wow, very cool. There it is. Bottom USB-C. There's the side where one of the where the right side Joy-Con's gonna go. Got a vent on there. That's where the game card goes. Looks like you got. Volume, power, there's the back. Nobody's gonna mistake what you're playing on, that's for sure. That's nice, nice and prominent. And there's the other side. Cool. Alright, so these things just kinda slide right on, apparently. Yep, okay. And there we go. Alright, we'll set that aside. Get into the meat and potatoes. Well, we got to the meat, now it's time for the potatoes. Okay, all well, this is probably going to be pretty boring. You got some paperwork here, and some cords, HDMI, power adapter here, and here's your yeah your adapter for your controller. So I saw your controllers in there instead of on the system. So when you have that docked, put it right in here. But I got a pro controller, so I probably won't be using this too much. And here's probably the actual dock. Oh, here's those are these the straps. So there's one there, and the other one's hiding there. So I won't be really using those either. And here's our dock. And the box is empty now. So there we go. There's the dock. Yeah, USB, HDMI out, AC adapter, that's pretty much a piece of plastic. Got some nice grippy feet on there. Alright, so that's that. Alright, next up, let's take a look at the game I got, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Pretty much the uh, only game I do have, I did also pre-order Bomberman, but I didn't get that quite yet. Get rid of this plastic. There you go, look at that. I'm sure everybody's already seen all this. So there is the game cartridge. Pretty neat. And I think the closest thing in size comparison would probably be a PlayStation Vita game, which you know, they look pretty, pretty much the same size. Oh yeah. Look at that. Pretty much the exact same size. 
The switch one's a little thicker. The size of the box is larger on the switch. And the size comparison with a PSP game case. The switch is a little smaller, so if you're curious about any of that. Which I was, so there you have it. Alright, next up, let's take a look at the Pro Controller. Unbox this bad boy. I think that, yeah, there's some sticker on the side here. Cut that. Open her up. That's probably what I'm going to mostly be using when I'm on the TV. Oh, wow. Okay, I give you a charge cable. Nice USB-C cable. That's, that's pretty cool. So this controller charges by USB-C, which is a plus. Oh, wow. That's cool. I like that. Got some plastic on the top. Take that off. So there you have the Pro Controller for the Switch. I love the clear plastic. Old school. I really hope they do like different colors, kind of like how they did with the N64. That'd be really neat. That feels real good. Alright, I'm excited about this. And last but not least, take a look at the awesome case I got. Ten bucks. Can't go wrong. Well, maybe you can, but we'll find out. There it is. Nothing else in the box. Some plastic. Unfortunately, it says Hyperkin on there, which, uh, oh well, I guess. Pretty, pretty sturdy case here. Got it zippered. And there's the inside. Put your games here. You got a little pouch there for cables and accessories. See how it fits. Goes in there like this. And there you go. Zip her up, and you're ready to go. I wonder if this will fit in my pocket. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, ladies, how are you doing? Packing heat? Will it fit in my lunch pail? Sure, it does. Perfect fit. It's a perfect fit. Does it fit in my toaster? No. Okay. Without further ado, let's turn this puppy on here. There's our power button on the top. Nintendo. Switch. Oh, yeah. screen looks real nice. We got English. We're in the Americas. Sure. Now let's read it here. Give me a minute. I Johnny fived it. Searching for networks. Okay, here's my networks. I will put my password in. Okay, it's trying to connect. Ooh, it found everything. Next. Okay, we'll go to New York. Would you like to connect to a TV and play on a larger screen? We'll do that later for now. The console did not press any additional buttons when detaching. Okay, do I have to do that now? Well, let's utilize the kickstand on the back. And that's another thing I forgot to show. I can show that real quick when I get this kickstand out. Is your memory card goes in there, which I did get a 200 gigabyte, but your memory card goes right in there. So it's on the stand, and I think there's you know, there's a couple buttons here. Oh, okay, okay, I'll get you. This is really awkward. Use the left stick to select next. Okay. Hit A on the right controller. Okay. 
You can use the controls and drag on the pitch. If you just say fur, then continue. Oh yeah, we're gonna go with the old Splatoon and turn nickname. Okay. Skip. Skip. We don't need no stinking parental controls. Setup is complete. Okay, can I reattach these? Because I don't want these. We need a better... Okay, there we go. Okay, so setup is complete. I can hit the home button. And there is the home button. There's some news that I'm going to use. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of information here. Controllers. Let's look at system settings. Wow, fast update even at uh, the launch hour. What I'm going to do is while this is doing this, I'm going to hook up the dock to the, uh, to my TV, get the Pro Controller going, start playing some Zelda. Okay, so right now I got everything all set up. I'm looking at the eShop here. Uh, we got coming soon. Poo poo Tetris. Blaster Master. Uh, Mario Kart 8. Okay, so let's say, you know, I, I'm home or whatever. I get up off the couch and I want to play on the big screen. All right, so here we go. I got the dock right here. If you can see it. So if I go La Garis, and that's it. Should be docked, and we should be seeing something right there. And it's on the big screener. Now, one thing I was concerned about is having the dock right in front of the TV screen. And as you can see, it's cutting off like the bottom portion. So I'm going to have to, unfortunately, put it somewhere else so it doesn't block the view, which kind of sucks. And uh, I was concerned about it. Or maybe I can jack the screen up or something, but... That's a bit of a disappointment, but okay. Well, let's pop a game in and see what happens. Alright, I got Zelda here. And the game card goes up in here. Okay, and it flips up. And it's in. Close it up. Okay, got the Pro Controller here. I'm assuming I'm going to have to at least hook it up once to the thing through the USB so it syncs properly. I mean, I'm pressing the sync button, it's not doing anything. Uh, so let's plug it in and see what happens. Okay, so I'm ready to plug it in here. USB-C. And there we go, paired. Let's hit the home button. Let's close. Back. Close. And there's the game card. Now unhook this. And we'll be playing with the Pro Controller. A new update is available. Oh, criminy. Well, I guess we can read the manual. Uh, 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 no manual to read when it's downloading. Okay, downloads completed. It's telling me to select the user. I am the user, and there we go. We are loading. This Pro Controller feels real nice. Okay. We are controlling. Okay, yep. Cool. I'm running. All right, so let's say at this point, your wife comes in, your girlfriend comes in, your son comes in, your daughter, your 
next of kin comes in, starts yelling at you, telling you, I want to watch the game, I want to watch some cartoon, blah, 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 blah. So you say, yeah, whatever, fuck you. I'm going to keep on playing my game, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay, so then this is the, what, the, what you come up with here, you know, you press L and R on the controller, and A when you're ready, and you're, you're playing. You are playing on small little screen, you're portable here, you can go, you know, wherever. It's still play, and it looks pretty damn good, too. And then, say they leave, they're done with their show program. Go right back here, slap her back in the dock. Pick up your Pro Controller, and you got yourself a nice big screen. Ready to go. Come on, I'll open some chests. I got an old shirt. Somebody's putting that in a treasure chest? Okay. Can't equip that. We removed it. Equip it. Putting some pants on. Squats. Link's doing some squats. Now go. I'm trying to. Okay. Oh yeah, look at this. Spider-Man. Coming at you. To him. Looks pretty sweet. Santa Claus. Go get some presents. Go whack some people with a stick. I see some sparkling shrooms. Go talk to Santa Claus. Ooh, my stick's on fire. Can I bake the shrooms that I got? <laughs> what the hell? Alright, let's bake them up. We got some baked shrooms now. We're all good. Oh man, I got that shit. Oh man. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Give us another thumbs up. Uh, if you leave comments, the video's over.